What if I told you there is a desktop environment out there that feels incredibly familiar yet offers a completely fresh and modern experience? Forget everything you thought you knew about Linux desktops because Qt Fisher is might just be the hidden gem you've been searching for. In this video, we will explore why it's surprisingly polished and incredibly intuitive and why it could be the perfect fit for your setup. So, let's dive in. Are you tired of the same old Linux desktop environments? You know, the ones that can feel bloated, overly complex or just outdated. Well, let me introduce you to the Qtefish OS, a sleek, modern and incredibly user-friendly desktop environment that's flown under the radar for many. Originally developed as part of a Linux distro project, Qtefish OS is built on Qt Quick and KDE frameworks emphasizing simplicity, beauty, and practicality. Think of it as a blend where macOS elegance meets Windows 11's modern touches, but tailored for Linux users who want something lightweight and efficient. So let's talk about the first impressions, because the first impressions matter, and Qtefish OS nails them with its visual appeal and intuitive design. The interface is clean and minimalist, featuring a beautiful icon set that's crisp and cohesive. At the heart of it is a customizable dock at the bottom for quick app access, a global menu that keeps things uncluttered, and a notification center that's straightforward and non-intrusive. The overall aesthetics uses subtle gradients, round corners, and smooth animations that make navigating feel effortless. For new users, getting comfortable is a breeze. There is no steep learning curve here. You can jump right in, rearrange elements with drag and drop, and it all just works intuitively. Whether you are coming from Windows, Mac OS, or another Linux desktop environment. Now, let's look under the hood at performance and the features that really matters. Qtefish OS is designed to be lightweight, so it runs responsibly even on older hardware. Test show it handles everyday tasks like browsing, document editing, and media playback with minimal resource usage, often lighter than heavier desktop environments like GNOME or KDE Plasma. It comes with a set of pre-installed apps, including a file manager, terminal, calculator, and settings panel, all styled to match the desktop environment's look. Integration with common Linux tools is solid, thanks to its KDE base, so you can easily add software via package managers. Now for customization, you got options for themes, icon packs, and desktop tweaks. If you want a dark mode, it's there. Prefer a different wallpaper or a widget layout. Simple adjustments let you make it your own without diving into config files. But why choose Qtefish OS over the dozens of other options out there? Let's address the but why by looking at the use cases and who it's for. This desktop environment shines for beginners dipping their toes into Linux, as its familiar layout reduces the intimidation factor. If you are switching from a Mac OS or Windows, the dock and menu system will feel like home, helping ease the transition. Productivity enthusiasts will appreciate the streamlined workflow. There is no distractions, just efficient tools. Minimalists love its bloat-free approach avoiding the resource hogs that plague some desktop environments. It solves common pain points like complexity in setup or higher CPU usage during idle time. Unique advantages include its focus on a unified experience, where everything from the login screen to app windows feels cohesive, making it ideal for creative work, casual browsing, or even as a daily driver on a secondary machine. Looking ahead to the future of Qtefish OS, it's worth noting its development journey. The original project paused around 2022, but community efforts have revived it through forks like Qtefish OS Reborn, built on Ubuntu for better stability and accessibility. As of late 2025, as of late 2025, it's actively maintained by enthusiasts, with installations available on distros like Arch and Ubuntu. While there is no official roadmap for 2026 yet, the community-driven nature suggests potential for ongoing updates, bug fixes, and new features. Perhaps enhanced VLAN support or more customization tools. Keep an eye on a GitHub repos and forums for the latest. 
In conclusion, Qt Visuals is a valuable addition to the Linux desktop landscape, offering a polished alternative that's both beautiful and functional. If you are seeking something fresh without the hassle, it's definitely worth exploring. Head over to the Qt Visuals Reborn site or ArchWiki for downloads and install guides. Try it in a virtual machine first to see if it clicks for you. If you give it a shot, drop your thoughts in the comment below. Did it become your new favorite? What features do you want next? Like and subscribe for more Linux discoveries and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.